Hey guys, it's time for another episode of Zacharelius Mailbox. Oh, just kidding, of course, actually, this is for the uh, mail giveaway, of course, that we're doing here uh, about six weeks ago, almost two months ago, maybe something like that. Uh, I announced that I wanted to do just a kind of giveaway. This is something that I did here on my channel way, way back in the very early days of my channel. It was a lot of fun and basically I just wanted to do another one just because it's been a long time. It's a, it's really cool basically just to uh, get mail, just to hear from people like all over the world. I know in my comment section I'm always getting comments, but you can't really see where exactly those are from. Maybe there's some way to check that, but I mean, I guess I can check like the overall analytics, but it's cool just to like hear personally from you guys uh, that you guys actually took the time to put something actually like in the mailbox and send it and just to see where all that comes from and it's like really from all over the world. So it's really, really cool uh, for me and it's fun for me. And so I wanted to just uh, provide some incentive as well by just giving away a couple kits. So I'm going to be giving away uh, two kits. So I'll just randomly pick uh, there. I got 22 entries. So it's, uh, chances are two in 22 is pretty good chances. Uh, I'll pick the winners here in just a minute and I'll show you guys their pieces of mail first and then we'll go through all the rest of the mail as well. Well, we might as well we'll open all that up and you guys can uh, just kind of hang out. So yeah, just to recap the rules, I didn't provide any kind of limitations on what you should send, whether it be a postcard or a letter or a package. So you see, I got a, kind of a, a mix of everything here. The two winners that will be picked will have the choice between uh, four HD kits I laid out for you guys, but I may just give, what were those? Uh, yeah, those. Uh, but I may give the winners some other options as well. I'll, I'll basically just kind of let them pick. So I'll get in touch with the winners uh, once we're done with this anyway. So let's just find out who they are. Let me go to the uh, random number generator I have over here. So the first one is number nine. Let me find that. Number nine. Now, uh, I don't want to show you any personal information of anyone. So I just kind of have to be careful what I put in front of the camera there. But anyway, this one comes from... It comes from the UK anyway, there's no name on the outside of it. I guess I can just show you this anyway. It's from the UK, there's the old, old bird herself there on the postage. So it's from the UK and uh, I will have to open it up to see the name on this. Ooh, there's a few things in here, so that's cool. There's some cardstock just to keep everything safe. And there's some really cool water slide decals. Those are some pretty sick water slide decals. These look like uh, military decals for a tank or something. Air Force. Yeah, I like these. Uh, I've been in the kind of the, in the market for these. Uh, if when I, whenever I can find some cool ones at like a pretty decent price, because these can be pretty pricey too. Uh, that's awesome. Oh, here's another set too. Ah, this one is really cool as well. I think. Let me see. I think whoever these are from has a pretty good idea of my personal taste because these are these are pretty spot on to like the exact kind of thing that uh, I would be into. So here's the postcard that he sent, uh, kind of inside that as well. This is uh, Hadley Castle in the UK, I'd imagine. Uh, looks pretty awesome. I've never been to the UK, but uh, I'd like to go. I've got some friends there. Uh, so this is from Robert. Robert. You are the first of the two winners. Let me just see here. He said, I don't live in a very exciting place, but this is our claim to fame, the ruins of the 13th century Headley Castle on the Thanes. Uh, East, East, uh, Eastburg? I don't know. East, 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 Eastbury? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, about 30 miles east of London. Thanks for all the effort you put into your channel. I particularly like your detailed unboxing videos with all your content. You include all the important information with just the right amount of personal opinion. I know you like water slides, so I went through my stash from aircraft modeling days and picked a couple of sheets, which include some markings, which might be useful. These might be useful, useful, slash interesting, I think maybe he's writing there. Uh, hope you like them, I do like them a lot. Thank you, Robert, those decals are really, really cool. Uh, I like those, so thank you for that. Robert, uh, and he was uh, smart enough to put his email on here as well, so that'd be really easy getting in contact with you, Robert. If you don't see this video first, uh, you'll hear from me or you'll, whatever. <laughs> you'll see the video first. Okay, and the next winner is, let's see, number 17, number 17 here, just so you guys can see, I, I marked them all with the number. Uh, this one is from España. 
This one is from Jesus Andres. Uh, I don't, I don't want to say their last name, so I'm going to stop there. Uh, hey, from Jesus in España. So this is what I mean, like hearing from people in the UK, from Spain. And I know there's, there's a bunch of other countries here we'll get to. So very cool. Let's see what Jesus has in here. Uh, a drawing, first of all. Very cool. A uh, drawing here of Banaji. Banaja links, I like that a lot. As you guys know, uh, Unicorn is one of my favorite series. So it looks like it's like a pen drawing and then you like shade it in in pencil. So that's cool, like mixed media. I like that, very cool. In his letter here, it says, uh, Hello Zach, my name is Jesus and I'm from Spain. I'm a big fan of yours. I see a lot of your videos because I really like what you do. Uh, I know you'll have tons of letters and other presents, so I'll keep it short. Actually, not that many, 22. Okay, number 22 here, this one is from this one's from Guam so it's from the USA but not the contiguous USA this one is from the island nation of Guam another place that I've never been but a lot of Koreans go there uh, so uh, many of my students and uh, Korean friends and people I know here in Korea many of them have been to Guam uh, and I'm sure it's only a matter of time until I visit there so I'm you know, if I ever, if I ever am going to Guam, I'll let you guys know and uh, maybe can meet up here with uh, Christopher. So Christopher from Guam has uh, his note in here. It says, I recently started building Gunpla after such a long time. I started out building a couple of Zoids models uh, when I was a kid. After I ordered a couple of HGUC kits, my friend told me about your channel in passing. I checked it out and now I always look forward to your uploads. I don't know if this will reach you in time for the contest, but it's still nice to write you. Hopefully I'll be able to create custom kits that it'll get uh, to see. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you, Christopher. Uh, very nice notes. Uh, and it did get to me in time, but uh, unfortunately it wasn't picked as one of the winners. But again, yeah, it's still great to hear from you guys. Next, number 21 is from USA as well. This one is from Florida, from R. Burns. I'm guessing this is all, maybe also a Robert as well. Anyway, it's from uh, Florida in the USA. Just a little guy here. Let's open it up. All right, let's see, Robert. No, you're, oh, I'm, I'm just guessing it's Robert. It's, sorry, it's not Robert, it's Rick. Uh, I just assumed it's Robert, anyway. Hey. hey, Zach, my name is Rick. I am new to all this and Gumpla, and I think it's cool uh, that you are doing this type of stuff and putting it out for all of us. Keep up the great job. Uh, P.S., here's my address. Okay, that's if you pick me for the winner. Well, again, yeah, uh, sorry that you weren't one of the winners, but again, Rick, thanks for taking the time to write that nice little note. Much appreciated. Next to number 20 is a really nice postcard here. This one, uh, this time from Canada, from New Brunswick, Canada. It looks really nice. Uh, this seems like somewhere I would definitely like to go. My mom really loves uh, lighthouses, so that'd be something she'd be into. But uh, this this beach looks pretty awesome. Although Canada, I don't know how warm that beach would be. Uh, but let's see who this is from. This is from Mr. Patrick. Uh, happy belated birthday, Zach. Keep up the great work on your channel and all the best for 2018. Thank you, Patrick. Uh, I, I always like seeing these postcards as well because it's cool to actually like be able to see these places because I'm like I know. Like, I know kind of generally what these places look like, but to see where you guys are from, like the local postcards and stuff is cool. Next number 19 is from Aubrey in Malaysia. I believe that uh, this person has won a contest before that I recognize the name, or I, I've, I've at least seen the name, maybe in a past contest. <laughs> yeah, he even put it in like the first line of the letter. He said, "Hi, Zach. This is my second time taking part in your in this mail competition." Yes, yeah, so I, I I knew I recognized the name there. Thanks. Uh, I did enter the first competition, but sadly did not make it in time. So I hope that this letter gets to you before the deadline. I have been following your channel for almost two years or more. When I first got into Gunpla, building Gunpla, my first kit. Uh, was the Gundam Build Fighters Wing Gundam Hono, and I started and I watched the Strider Prime video for more information about that, and that was how I found your channel in the recommendations. I was like, "You are awesome! Your videos are always helpful and very entertaining. I love how generous you are with us with all the giveaways, tutorials, and allowing us uh, to s allowing us to own some of your work. I like that. I like the three pilot figures I won from just commenting. Ah, oh, so he yeah he did win something. That was, so I know that I've I've seen this name come up a few times there so yeah he won the pilot figures in that that's cool uh thank you for all the hard work that you've done so far and keep up the good work oh and congratulations on the newborn baby girl thank you and he did a little zaku head there very nice uh Aubrey, thank you for uh always participating in my contests and giveaways and things uh that's awesome 
Next number 18 is from Joseph in the United States. This one is from Salt Lake City. It's, uh, another place I've never been. I've been near Salt Lake City. Uh, where was that? To some uh, dinosaur national park or something when I was quite young. Uh, on a road trip with my parents. Let's see what he wrote here. Hey, Zach Aurelius. I, I'm sure you're receiving a lot of mail in the giveaway you have going on right now, and of course, that's why I mailed this to you. Of course, I hold no illusions of winning, but as they say, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, so I'm giving it a shot. Good philosophy. I actually do have a question for you, though. I'm working on my own Gundam fanfic, and I'm having trouble deciding on a mobile suit that would fit a woman character. Uh, by this, I mean one that is slick enough that in the right color could appear feminine without being girly. Uh, it can be any suit that I would prefer if it wasn't a main character type of Gundam. Uh, any thoughts you would have would be appreciated. I'm currently looking into the Clanch custom from Gundam Age, but I haven't decided yet. Uh, also, could you take another dive at tutorial videos? I'm still quite new at making kits, and currently mine are just snap build, so I want to customize them in the future. Thanks for reading this. Go forth, young man. You'll live and blaze a trail to the future, in quotation marks. I'm guessing that's from some series, but... I'm not sure. Very respectfully, uh, Dauntless Productions, P.S. P.S. I've been trying my hand at stop motion with HG kits and would not recommend the HG GM power to cardigan as a starting point for stop motion. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, a kind of feminine looking mobile suit, uh, probably one of my favorite designs, I guess could maybe fit there, is the Rose and Zulu. The Rose and Zulu, although it is piloted by a man, he's arguably a pretty feminine man in the Unicorn series, and I think the Rose and Zulu uh, still looks very tough, but I could definitely see it piloted by by uh, a woman character and I think you, you I mean you could even keep the original color scheme or, or change up the color scheme whatever but uh, Rosen Zulu next we got another postcard here this time from Indonesia and this one is from Einar I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but I hope I am anyway with a really cool stamp here on the back if you guys can see that that's a pretty awesome stamp there with the rabbit. I guess for Advance of Zeta fans might also appreciate that as well. It says, Hi Zach, my name is Einar from Indonesia. I also like Gumpla very much, but my Gumpla is not as much as you have. Look, uh, willing forward getting new Gumpla from your giveaway. Uh, hoping to get new Gumpla, Gumpla from your giveaway, I guess is what he means. Thanks Zach, regards. I gotta say, his handwriting is really nice. I suppose that's probably related to Indonesian uh, writing. It kind of looks like that, like like it's a hand that is normally writing uh, Indo I'm not sure exactly the name of the written language, but it's usually writing Indonesian uh, Then writing English it looks very fancy. Uh, very cool. Thank you uh, This next one here also comes from the United States from uh, Indiana uh, right next to my home state. My home state is Illinois uh, Not too far from there. Let's see. This is Richmond, Indiana. I'm not sure exactly where that is in the state uh, if it's on the east or west side, but anyway, let's see what we've got here. This is from Ethan Kuhn, who aside from the letter that he's got here, also included this uh, cool drawing of a Zaku. So very cool uh, drawing there of the Zaku. Looks to be like maybe drawn from an origin Zaku possibly. Uh, and then we have a nice little note here. Thanks for making great videos. I'm still kind of new in, to Gundam, but I recently discovered your channel. Your reviews are currently some of my favorite to watch. Uh, you actually convinced me to get the Verkasa Zabi. Do you plan on showcasing the finished resin kit for it? Yes, uh, when it's finished, it's uh, still basically in the same state that you guys last saw in the last work in progress video it hasn't moved much. I'd really like to know how you painted it. Well, yeah, uh, I'll, we'll talk about that in a future video, I suppose. Uh, I'm a, uh, also a big fan of your Zaku Schweifstern. Yeah, that was uh, an interesting build you made and enjoy your custom work. Uh, I wanted to draw your favorite mobile suit, but I wasn't sure which one you liked the most. Uh, so I drew you the classic Zaku considering it's your channel name. Hope you like it. I hope you and your family are doing okay. And thanks again, sincerely, Ethan. Yes, thank you, Ethan. Yeah, I, I'm often asked what my favorite mobile suit is and I can never really give an answer because I just don't really have a favorite, but of course the Zaku is always good. Well, I can't say definitively that the Zaku is my favorite mobile suit ever, it's definitely up there. Here we've got another nice, uh, really big postcard here, this one from Malaysia, this is uh, Mount uh, Kinabalu, the highest mountain in Southeast Asia, it looks really nice. I definitely would like to go there as well. So this is, yeah, from Malaysia, uh, from Dudley. And here on the back, I'll just cover up his address there, but it's just uh, no note, just a nice drawing there of the Gundam head. And hello from me. So this is from uh, Saban, Malaysian, Borneo, I guess. Anyway, 
So very cool postcard. Thank you for that. Next is from Federico in Brazil. So uh, yeah, it's not too often that I hear from people in Brazil or just kind of South America in general, I think is probably uh, the continent with the probably least amount of Gumpla fans, if I had to guess. Obviously not including Antarctica. He's got another nice drawing too. Hey, I think this is... Okay, let me read the note. Uh, just sending you this letter to congratulate you on the great uh, channel, great builds, and your new baby. Keep up the good work, and I'm looking forward to more content from you in the future, particularly from your Trash to Treasure series. Yes, I know. Uh, from the owner of the particularly small Gumpla channel, Engrenagem Reviews. Uh, Frederico Peña. P.S. I made my own quick sketch of the ponytail Zaku. Yeah, if you guys didn't see... Uh, I did a, a sketch similar to this, uh, his is much nicer than mine, uh, on a previous episode of Gumpla Talk, we, uh, kind of at the end of the episode we did just a fun like little drawing challenge, uh, and what I had to draw was uh, like a, a ponytail on a Zaku or something like that, like a female Zaku or something, and I drew something, a simpler version of this, but his is much more uh, fleshed out, so thank you for that, Frederico, very funny and cool, I like that a lot. Next, we got another letter here from John in Iowa. So my other neighboring state there on the opposite side. Uh, Iowa from where in Iowa? Belmond, Iowa. I'm not sure where that is either. But there's a lot of small towns around there and even not so small towns. He's got his uh, photo here. Looks like he printed a photo of his kit and didn't have any scissors to cut that out. Sorry for you, man. I wish I could send you a pair of scissors, but there's a photo of his uh, painted kit there. It looks like it's a kind of an interesting kit bash between a lot of stuff there. It looks like some parts of the Ark Gundam, and then it's got like a more like Gundam-style head, and then it's got like an Armed Armor DE shield. So pretty interesting combination of parts there. It says, Dear Zach, my name is John, and I've been a fan of Gundam ever since it started to air in the United States, starting with Gundam Wing. The picture enclosed is a Gumpla kit bash I built recently and painted, which I like to call the uh, Sora Ventus Gundam. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Sora, Sky, Ventus, Wind, Sky, Wind. Uh, I want to know your opinion on how I did with the paint job and my choice on kits. I used the rifle and head from the beginning D Gundam, arms and shield from the Banshee Norn, and the torso and legs from the Throne's Y. Okay, so not the Ark of the Throne's Y. Anyway, I wish the best of luck to everyone who entered the mail contest. It's an interesting combination of parts, but they actually go together pretty not bad from what I can see in the photo here. I mean, it looks very odd, but I mean, uh, that doesn't mean that it looks bad, especially when you're dealing with stuff like from Double O. Some of the different combinations and things they got with like the enemy mobile suits especially looked kind of odd. But that said, it does look like, I'm not sure how you painted it, but at least on the gun, it looks like the gun was either painted by brush or by Gundam marker. Uh, so I'm guessing maybe it's not sprayed, but other parts of it do look sprayed, so I'm not sure. So I say there's definitely room for improvement concerning just the painting, uh, but the kit bashing, uh, in terms of kind of getting stuff to work together, seems pretty okay from what I can see from the one picture here. Uh, next we've got another letter here from España. This one is from Juan. He's also got a little drawing here this time of Quattro Vagina and a note here. But I'm noticing that the, the drawing looks quite similar and it's on like a similar kind of piece of paper. And then I'm also looking back at the entry that I got from Jesus and Juan and Jesus either uh, are the same person under different names or maybe they're friends or something because the postage on these it looks like exactly the same. They're both sent from the same city. Obviously different name, different address, but there's also sent on the same day. But a half hour apart, one at one o'clock and one at 1.30. Anyway, interesting there. I don't know uh, if you guys maybe went to the post office together or what the deal is with that. Anyway, it says, hello, my name is Juan Manuel from Spain. I am one of your subscribers and I love your videos. I would like to enter the giveaway. I have made a small drawing of my favorite character from the Gundam series, Char Aznable. Hope you like it. Yes, of course, it's Char, I guess, Quattro, Char. Whatever you want to say. Anyway, cool drawing though. Thank you for that. I'd have to guess Juan and Jesus are friends uh, if they kind of enter the same day or same kind of style like that. It's kind of interesting. Next one here comes from Kristop in the US. Chris, Kristop? I'm guessing I'm pronounced. There's no H on the end, which is not Kristoff. Kristop. Also got a photo of a couple of kits here. I'll check that out here. Let's check out the note first. Uh, it is. Chris Top, okay, I guess that is his name. It says, hello, Zach, greetings from Wisconsin. Thank you for all the information, all the informative videos you post on YouTube. Uh, watching your videos has gotten me back into Gumpla after I bought every Gonna Wing kit uh, when they were in Toys R Us and airing on Toonami in the US. I thought I would share with you a snowy scene of my two favorite Gundams 
uh, as well as series. Keep up the great videos. Thank you again. And I like how the paper that he used here uh, has Parappa the Rapper at the bottom of the paper, which is pretty cool. Obviously a hardcore Tomino fan here with his two favorite suits and series being the Turn A and the Victory 2. Uh, very nice photo there. Cool photo with them out in the snow like that. Thanks for that, Chris. This is Garbage Pail Kids cards. Uh, he sent me three Garbage Pail Kids cards. I, I guess I can get this one because uh, of the whole thing I'm like living in Korea, right? Uh, these other ones are pretty interesting. Let's see if there's any explanation here in the letter, which he also... Also drew a Batman minion on here. And uh, okay, let's see. Why do I get the feeling that I'm being trolled here? He says, a hi, Zach had to switch pens accidentally wrote that... Wrote what? What other part was there from this? To accidentally wrote that in pen -align marker, big fan of your videos, inspire me not to quit, even though I'm a bad painter. I'd love to see more tutorials, just building streaming videos, uh, or... But I'll watch all your content regardless, one of the best and my favorite Gunpla YouTubers. Sorry, the shit grammar there. Keep up the amazing work and congrats on the kid. Sorry I couldn't send a birthday present. Here's some garbage pail kids, thanks. P.S. Sorry I didn't capitalize your name. I have a bad habit of only capitalizing the first letter in a sentence. P.P.S. If you would look at my SoundCloud, I'm sorry, you can use any of my music in intro, outro, uh, if you ever thought about changing it, I feel like you would like, I ain't worried. Thanks. Uh, okay, I'll check out his SoundCloud. And he also uh, gave a Dirt Gang Rip Dunk. Uh, I know what that is, but I have a feeling that probably most of you guys maybe won't. I'm guessing maybe he saw me wearing a Dirt Gang shirt before in a past video. Uh, but yeah, yeah. R.I.P. Slim Duncan. And uh, Rip Fredo Santana, Rip Capo, Rip Stephen Hawking. <laughs> What? I, some of these, sometimes I don't know if you guys are trolling or not. I'm really bad at picking up on trolling, but uh, yeah, concerning the minion drawing, he said, that's my contest entry. Okay, so yeah, from Elliot, aka Bugle Magnum, or yeah, okay. One more really weird thing about this is that uh, his handwriting, especially here on the outside of the letter here, or just where he wrote the address, really, really looks like I wrote this to myself, like from like fourth grade. This really, really looks like, like my elementary school. Uh, handwriting. So like when I saw this, when I pulled this out of the mailbox and I was like looking at that later in the car, I was thinking like that that looks like exactly like my elementary school handwriting. I wish I had something around here I could show you guys in comparison, but that was kind of scary. Okay, moving on. Uh, this one is once again from Malaysia, from Chan in Malaysia here. Oh, maybe from Kai. So here's a sticker from the Gumpla Expo Malaysia. That's cool, it says on the back, keep it up, thanks for all the great work from Kai. So thank you, Kai, this uh, Gumpla Expo Malaysia sticker, that's pretty awesome. And I say this other paper is just with the address on there. So that's it, just the sticker. Awesome, thank you. Okay, now into like the first package thing here. Uh, this one is from Alberta, from Jason. Uh, I'm guessing this one also might be like a drawing or something as it's kind of on this hard board and indeed it is. Let me show you guys the letter first. I'm yeah, I'm pretty sure Jason uh, also sent me a, f a picture, a, a really nice drawing like this in my last mail contest. So I think he's kind of maybe writing this here. Uh, hope all has been well. Thanks for putting out all of the content for us to enjoy. The last time I wrote you, you were sitting at 15,000 subscribers. Two years later, you almost hit 70,000. It's amazing thinking uh, how much your channel has grown. And for that, I would like to congratulate you. I also look forward to your projects the most Always look forward to your projects the most, whether it's a Trash to Treasure, um, Tristan Build, or the small side projects. I always uh, immediately click to watch to get some inspiration flowing. I know there's a lot you want to try out, so hopefully you have the time uh, for all of it. Do you have some kind of priority list planned out for your project list? Anyway, anything you want to do before 2018 ends? Well, uh, my priority list at the moment is just finishing uh, commissions because those are kind of should be in priority. I just kind of have ADHD, so I kind of can't really focus on getting commissions done. 
uh, always, but uh, I'm trying to do, do that now. Just like last time, I whipped up a drawing for you as a gift. I did the same again this year. I hope you like it. Uh, once again, thank you for all the work you've done for the Gumpel community. I wish you and your family the best. So yeah, Jason uh, did another drawing. I think I've got it around. Somewhere around here, I, I have the Zaku that he drew for me uh, last time, but he did another. Here's his drawing here of the Zaku Cannon. <laughs> yeah, so it's a really cool thing. It's got the MS-06K there in the back. Uh, very nice, and it's got my Zaku head logo there on the side as well with all like even like some uh, Caution markings everything on there awesome. So yeah uh, before he sent a, a Zaku drawing is kind of similar style like this So thank you for that uh, one more postcard here. This one is from Vancouver, Canada from Jackie uh, Says hi Zach greetings from Vancouver, Ca Canada. I hope this gets to you. I've never mailed anything before haha <laughs> Never mailed anything before that's crazy. What is that? I don't know. Here's Vancouver very nice. Yeah, I've never even been to Canada, actually. But uh, there is Canada. But Vancouver as well. I've had uh, Korean friends and people that I've known here in Korea that have been to Vancouver or, or lived in Vancouver uh, for periods of time and have highly recommended it. And the last letter here, this is from Gilbert in California. The first one out of these from uh, California. Actually, a big state, I would have assumed. Maybe it would have been more than one, but maybe not. Uh, anyway, he's also got this really cool sticker in here. It's like a sticker of a DJ a God Gundam. That's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome little logo there. Let's see if he's got some inspiration about that. Hey, Zach, thanks for taking the time to show the world this great hobby. It's awesome to see people so involved with the community and making it more positive. I first discovered your channel when I was getting back into Gumpla after dropping the hobby in high school. I picked up a guitar. Yeah, I, I feel you on that. Uh, I was looking up what Japanese hobby stores were like on YouTube and found one of your videos. It's been cool seeing you do reviews and keeping up with the announcements too. I appreciate you recognizing other builders and giving them their moments to shine. It was a funny coincidence that you know Justin too. He helped me out a lot when I was getting back into building. Uh, keep doing what we're doing. I hope you get to reach the goals you've set for yourself. I admire what you do and hope I get to make an impact in the community as well. Gumpla is a great hobby and I want to make it more welcoming to everyone. Nothing is more exciting than knowing people with common interests and hobbies. So yeah, thank you. I'll give, oh, Gilbert is the diligent new type. Okay, I, I know that name, but I guess I never knew your first name. Gilbert. So yeah, diligent new type. I know uh, because I'm sure I follow him on social media, but I don't think I've ever seen this logo before. So I don't know. Is that yours or something else? Hey, let me know. But very cool sticker. So thank you for that, Gilbert. Okay. And the last few things are just a couple of packages. This one is a kind of package with something in here. This one is from Casey. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. It's, the spelling is a bit uh, different, but that's uh, from Casey. Oh, this one is also from California, actually. So I guess I spoke too soon on the California thing. This one's got some uh, pins in here. A couple of enamel pins and also a patch. Let's look at the, at the note here first so we can see what's going on with this stuff. Hey Zach, my name is Casey. Uh, I've included several pins and patch that I designed for my brand Look to New Heights. Uh, that's the name of the brand, Look to New Heights. Uh, these are a thank you for motivating me to get back into modeling after not touching a Gundam kit for over 15 years. You're a big inspiration and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, kind regards, Casey. So here's uh, some pins. So here, I'll just show you guys the patch first. Very cool. Uh, patch design there. I like that quite a bit. And then there's a few pins. They're all space themed. You guys can see the uh, name of the website there at the bottom as well. So you can check out the website. I assume these are for sale on the website. There's that one, this one here, uh, and then one more here. And the last one, kind of same space shuttle that's on the patch there. So those are really cool. Thank you for that. So yeah, I'm guessing you can buy these on the store there. So check those out if you guys want some cool space pins and patches as well. He's just sent this one patch, but I'm going to assume that there's other patches available on the site. Okay, and this one here appears to be some sort of book or magazine. This one is from uh, Jorge in Del Rio, Texas. And it says magazine. What kind of magazine? Could be. <laughs> what? So I can't find any note in here, but this is uh, just one, two, three, four, five publications of this uh, Del Rio Grande magazine. Uh, nothing model related. It's um, just a local magazine by the looks of it. Mostly ads. 
Uh, and yeah, no note in here that I can find to give any context to this. So Jorge uh, either spent $20 in postage because he wanted me to kind of learn more about his hometown of Del Rio, or I spent $20 in postage uh, as, again, I'm not sure if this is a troll or not, I really can't tell. If you really uh, just wanted to share your hometown with me, then uh, thanks for that. If this is just like uh, trolling me with just sending me some kind of very unrelated magazines from your hometown, then thanks for that too, I guess. Okay, and the last thing here, this is a box from Singapore. Uh, and I didn't know what's in here, but actually he uh, commented on one of my videos uh, kind of to ask if I had gotten the box yet and kind of by doing so he kind of spoiled what's actually in the box so now I do have an idea of what's in here uh, but not entirely so uh, here that's interesting uh, so this is there's a card and a kit so let's take a look at the card first in this very red envelope here awesome it's a birthday card I'm guessing cool Japanese cat this is uh, this kind of card I don't know if you guys have ever seen these before this is made by like uh, rolled up paper and it's like glued onto here like that. It's very interesting kind of the way that these are made. But it says, hi Zach, greetings from Singapore, big fan of your work and videos uh, with them clean edits. In this mail is a third party kit of an iconic metal slug kit tank. Uh, I'm certain you do a great job painting it and feel free to do a review on this. Uh, I'm Ice Lord on YouTube. Oh, okay, I recognize the name. P.S. Shout out to our backslash Gundam on Discord. Love you guys from Guinea Max. P.S. P.S. I couldn't find any decent Singapore themed postcards at the post office, so I got this cat of wealth instead. Well, thank you. So this is a third party or otherwise uh, basically bootleg kit. I'm, I'm guessing it's kind of what it looks like. It's instead of metal slug, it's metal bug. And just the kind of overall printing quality on the outside does kind of look like it is a bootleg kit. I'm not sure what company makes these metal slug kits. I've never really looked too much into it because I've never really been too into metal slug, but this does look quite interesting. This looks like something that would be really good in like a, a Matt K painting style. So it's a little kit here of this little tank like that. That's kind of how it looks. So yeah, that would be something very interesting. It is definitely something that's not uh, kind of what I normally do, but yeah, it really looks like it could be something like out of Matt K uh, with maybe just a few modifications to that. So I don't know, I might have some fun and maybe try like kit bashing that a little bit or just kind of building it as is. I don't know, but it's something I, I'll put to the side and check out later. Yeah, so that's it. So that's all the mail entries for the mail giveaway contest. Some really interesting stuff. Uh, again, just huge thank you to you guys who took the time to just uh, write out a little note and drop that in the mailbox and send it away uh, here. It was really cool to see different uh, drawings and different stickers and things that you guys sent. It was all really nice. Uh, very appreciated the decals as well uh, from, the, from the first winner. So any of you guys who did not get a chance to enter, uh, I'll probably do another one of these maybe again in another two years or something. I don't know. Not that soon because it's I prefer to do other types of contests like photo contests or building contests, things like that. Design contests are, I think, more fun. But uh, just a kind of fun giveaway like this is also nice. So I'll be getting in touch with the winners. And uh, just thank you guys so much for watching and all your support. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>